Hi folks, this is um, Five Minute Crypto News recorded live today on uh, the 16th of May 2024. And it is. So, taking a look at the crypto heat map, we can see Bitcoin, of course, having the largest square, followed by Ethereum. And we also have. Just now briefly going into the green and now back into the red. So it's been doing this uh, lately, last hour. And we also have other cryptocurrencies mostly in the red. A few exceptions in the green is Solana. Doge has a small square over here. Looking at this from coin360.com website, we have another look. Um, the heat map, uh, Bitcoin having a larger square, followed by Ethereum. We have Solana in the green. And Doge and Sheepcoin over here. This is the coin market cap. Today's cryptocurrency prices by market cap. We have Bitcoin at number one, Ethereum in second place. Uh, in the last seven days, Bitcoin has been up uh, around 5% in the last hour, just dipping slightly. We have Solana here at slight rise. Dogecoin at around 15 cents US currency. Cardano at around 45 cents US currency. So Cardano is pretty close to overtaking Dogecoin at $21 billion. And Cardano has $16 billion. Shiba Inu is at um, 24 units, uh, four balls, 24. And just rising slightly following the entire cryptocurrency trend. Haven't heard much news on polka dots. And uh, Polygon is down here. So now looking at the Bitcoin price chart, priced in United States dollars, $65,000. And that's a slight dip on the day. Uh, it was in the green for a while today, uh, but now it is starting to fall at around uh, 1.30 in the afternoon, 2.30 in the afternoon at this time zone. And let's see, in the last week, it has been going up slightly. In the last month, sideways movement. And last year, of course, it's been uh, approximately doubling. It was at 26,000 around January, and uh, it's currently at around 65, 63. So approximately double. Going now to Ethereum cryptocurrency, uh, $2,955 per coin. And that's dropping a little bit uh, larger than Bitcoin at around 1.3% down on today. And we're seeing this price action on today. In the last week, it's been moving sideways, a slight bump up here. And in the last month, slight decline, but overall in the last uh, three months, since the beginning of uh, January, we've had a rise and definitely trending up since October of 2023. Cardano is at 45 cents approximately, US dollars, up 2% today. In the last 24 hours, we've been seeing this price action. Seems to be bucking the trend a little bit uh, compared to the other cryptocurrencies. In the last seven days, we've seen this price action, a sideways movement, but a slight rise in the last day or so. In the last month, we've seen it following the entire cryptocurrency market, slight sideways after the recent peak. And the last three months since, let's see, we'll go back to January. And we saw, yeah, of course, a, a large cryptocurrency market rise. And since a height of around 72 cents, it's now dropped down to around 45 cents. So not quite half, but um, 
a significant drop since the recent peak, the local peak of the last three months. Solana cryptocurrency, $159 approximately per coin, up 3.8% in the last 24 hours. In the last 24 hours, the chart looks a little bit like this. And we're seeing, let's see, the last seven days, slight tracking upward and in the last month, a sideways movement, last three months. It's been slightly trending upward. Uh, let's see if we can go back to January and see where we were here. January definitely trending upward since January, a price of around $100, and we're currently at $159. So it's possible that uh, with the recent Bitcoin halving, uh, most cryptocurrencies will start to rise over the next year. And we'll see how far that can go. Could also go down just as well on bad economic news. We have this chart from CoinGecko showing Dogecoin, symbol D-O-G-E, and the price and currency of the uh, United States is around 15 cents. That's dropping 1.2% on today. This is today's price action. In the last week, we see sideways movement, but slightly trending upward in the last month. Also sideways movement, and since January of 2024, it's gone from around nine cents to 15 cents, so an approximate double, and uh, down though from the high of around 21 cents U.S. currency. Going over to Shiba Inu, it's at around four balls 24, a rise of 1.55 percent today. It was higher, but starting to fall toward the end of this trading day in uh, stock market. If you look at the stock market uh, point of view, in the last seven days, it's been peaking above the midway trend line, the average. And the last year since, well, let's see, January, uh, around four balls, 10 cents. And now at around four balls, 24 cents. So approximate uh, double, a little bit more than that. Let's say 120% or something like that. And from 10 down to 35, approximate 3.5% increase jump um, at the recent uh, local high. So now we're looking at the cryptocurrency fear and greed index. We're now at 70 in this relative chart uh, published by Alternative ME website. And in the last, let's see, yesterday it was at 64, last week 55. So definitely in the last month we've been uh, trending higher. So um, some people are probably looking to sell and some people are probably waiting for the post uh, Bitcoin having jump, which might happen. And this would be accumulation zone. So we're seeing uh, what will happen there. This is from Coindesk, an article that says that the Ether Bitcoin ratio slides to the lowest since April of 2021. And here is why. So they go into a whole bunch of an explanation from their part. What I found interesting was this chart here. It shows Solana's proportion of total DEX volume has eaten into Ethereum's market share. So Ethereum cryptocurrency and Solana cryptocurrency uh, are in you could say a, a competition, even though it's not a declared. Um, the Ethereum blockchain is the backbone for a whole bunch of other coins, meme coins, we could say, if the explanation is uh, is correct. And then the same thing for Solana. And so you can see here, if you look at the chart over time, that it, we're now in May of 2024. The blue is Solana. And the gray color here on the bottom is Ethereum. And so you see, and we see that Ethereum here is in the gray and the blue is Solana. 
going back to January of 2023, this story was totally different. Ethereum was a big player. It's uh, more than 60% here in the gray. And the blue was with Solana. And so you see quite a bit of a difference over time. And then you have other colors here. Um, other would be in orange. And then you have Avalanche kind of staying steady. Uh, another big change is base, which is right here in this kind of reddish color. And Arbitrum is in this kind of whitish color and so forth. And this is a ETF, or if you call it ETP, coming from the United States. It's uh, priced in United States dollars. It can give you exposure to Solana without actually buying Solana on a cryptocurrency exchange. So you can buy this product here in your brokerage account where you'd buy shares in, for example, Tesla or Wells Fargo or whatever. And here we see that the current price is $101. It's mirroring the price of Solana over time, as you can see. And this is such a new product that it doesn't have a six months chart even. It's uh, less than six months and it's now at uh, starting in April, middle of April is when this product actually started. Full disclosure, we don't have any interest in that product, so we're not a sponsor of that or anything. Uh, this is a Solana price chart, so you can see that uh, that previous product we just mentioned that you can buy in your stock brokerage account. It's uh, mirroring the actual Solana price action. And here is the, the pump that we had in March and the sideways action here. Here's another article from Coindesk. It says, SHIB to get more scarce as key exchange expands to Shibarium. And let's see if we can go down here. So reading some of this, uh, Shiba Swap, the decentralized exchange associated with Shiba Inu, said Thursday it was live on the Shibarium blockchain and Ethereum layer 2 built by the Shiba token team. The developers said the increased use of the Shibarium blockchain for transactions will result in a higher burn rate for SHIB token, reducing supply. And the SHIB price has risen 8.8% in the past 24 hours, in line with a broader market jump. The Coindex 20 index, a measure of the wider crypto market, has rallied almost 7%. So hard to say if this is due to the reduced supply of SHIB or it's just a market event, but very likely um, if it continues reducing the supply of sheep, just like with Bitcoin, the price should increase in theory for sheep. This article comes from the Financial Post in Canada. The self-styled crypto king who lost $30 million is charged in Canada. And they go into his name here and he collected millions of dollars from investors only to spend it on luxury goods. And he's been arrested on fraud charges in Canada. And so he spent it on luxury goods, as we said. So let's see, the, the arrest marks the latest twist in the saga. Uh, the online reputation of this fellow was uh, as a trading savant, and it uh, caused investors to entrust him with around uh, $30.5 million in U.S. currency worth of crypto during the crypto boom of 2021 and 2022 on the expectation that he can make them rich. But um, it was proved that... Uh, he invested only a fraction of it, allegedly, and in the end, only about $3 million was recovered for investors through the bankruptcy, according to this article. Here is Kevin O'Leary, um, the famous uh, person in the news, and he said he would never buy Bitcoin ETFs, just own 
the coin directly, just own Bitcoin directly. So this article is from uh, Yahoo Finance, published today, May 16th. And um, it says here, his explanation is, these ETFs were approved by the SEC in the United States in early January. And O'Leary does see the value of a personal investment in the ETF. Uh, he says, I think it's great that finally we have a Bitcoin ETF. Uh, but I would never do that. And he says, why would I pay the fees? There's no added value to an ETF. I just own the coin directly. And so it's important to note that O'Leary is um, affiliated with a cryptocurrency exchange in Canada, a Canadian cryptocurrency company. And that uh, he, you could almost argue, it could uh, benefit from a non-ETF direct ownership of Bitcoin himself, but uh, you could take it either way. You could say that uh, he might be advising people that uh, you could make just a little bit more money by buying Bitcoin itself if you take uh, his comments at face value. So this article is from the dailyhodl.com and it says billionaire Mike Novogratz says new market events to propel Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana higher. And this article is from May 16th, 2024. And this is, of course, um, no one can predict the future, but uh, this is what he thinks, Mike Novogratz. Um, and he's predicting that it will um, be propelled higher, Bitcoin. And he says Solana, Ethereum, and other digital assets could still be a few months away from their uh, period of sideways trading. And he points to the election uh, coming up in the United States in November. And he says that that will provide clarity on cryptocurrency regulations or the Federal Reserve might cut rates by that time, which he believes could send crypto higher. So two possible events. And he says cryptocurrency could trade in the range of fifty-five to seventy-five thousand dollars until the upcoming U.S. election. So he's predicting sideways trading until November of 2024. And this is a picture of uh, Michael Novogratz. So for those of you joining us just now, this is a look at the current Bitcoin prices uh, $65,185 per Bitcoin US dollars and it's starting to drop a little bit more now in the last uh, date for sure 0.73 percent dip in the last hour it's let's see here looks like it's slightly rising from a dip but it definitely dipped uh, down here to around $65,000 even almost and just slightly rising now to 65187 So you'd expect the same thing for most of the other cryptocurrencies. We have Ethereum now which did the same dip and then is now slightly rising. Let's go to Cardano and look at the 24-hour chart. So this is a lot uh, rockier, bumpier on this chart, uh, but it seems to be a little bit healthier and it's in the green 1.5%. We have Solana doing the same thing in the last hour. You'd probably expect it to be going up. Yes, 0.3% in the last hour. Last 24 hours, last day, uh, we had this little dip that we mentioned now rising. And Dogecoin at 15 cents US currency, 15.1. And sideways trading, it hasn't gone up yet uh, in the last few hours. That might be happening. And let's see, in the last day, we don't have an hourly chart, but it looks like it's going up slightly. Now looking at some major stocks in the tech sector, which might be affecting the overall market. We have Apple, one of the largest stocks, and it's at $189 approximately US currency. Slight rise on today. And let's see the current chart. So we're looking at the last three months. It's gone up from 165 to 190. And the last year, sideways movement. 
we have GameStop. So this is along with AMC. And let's see, it's been dropping quite a bit. So what happened last day, last five days, there's been a, a movement to, to push up the price in social media. And it's gone from around $20, $17 up to a high of around, let's say $55. So approximately threefold gain. And now that the stock was pumped up, People are, have been manipulating the prices and people have been taking profits. So price is now down about halfway around to $30, still above the $17 baseline, but nevertheless uh, going up. And let's see, in the last year, this is a spike in the last few days represented here, and we've been seeing a downtrend. And so GameStop, stock the company um, because the, the store used to sell games in physical stores that you could walk into and buy games and because that industry has been changed so much from online gaming uh, the company was expected to decline tremendously um, but this social media interest ha buzz has caused uh, such a large increase that this price action has been going on and let's see we're looking at let's try to find the other one yes yeah, so 2021 was this spike it went as high as 53 dollars and let's see this is game stock but it's a cryptocurrency that um attempts to capitalize on the craze and so if you look at this in the last year let's see when it started let's try to take a look at the overall so overall this this coin actually started in let's say early february of 2024 uh, price of around two balls 63 or 0.63 cents and went as high as 1.8 cents and so now it's fallen back to around six cents and at its lowest it is around 0 0.06 cents or three balls six cents and so quite a bit of action here and those people who had bought and accumulated in this so in here of course would have had if they took the profits here uh, quite an interesting gain and this is AMC, the actual stock in the stock market. AMC Entertainment um, is a theater company. And people, the same way that people are expecting GameStop to decline over time, the same thing for theaters because so many people are streaming online. And so this stock has uh, been pumped up in the same social media frenzy that's been happening the last few days with GameStop. And AMC is now down 11% on the day. Uh, quite a big decline from around $6.85, now down to around $5. And people are taking profits, and we'll see what happens with that stock. So definitely a risky stock. Um, but for those people who accumulated here, they would have been rewarded. And then to Tesla, the American car making company, um, its stock is up 1.1% in the last year. It's been showing a slight decline due to market forces, as well as uh, one could argue perhaps declining EV sales overall. And so you could say almost a sideways movement, but definitely up $170 here today versus around $16 in 2019 and so quite an increase there so now we're looking at nvidia which is traded on the nasdaq in the united states the price per share is 949 dollars 80 cents up three percent approximately on today's trading and let's see it's a um, computer chip making company and its chips have been used in artificial intelligence which is all the rage in computing right now and so their chips are in high demand 
And so if you look at the price overall since uh, beginning, let's see, 2000 was around $3.86 a share and now as high as $949 a share. And let's take a look at the last one year, 12 months, we see the price going from around 400, doubling up to 800 and even more 950 current price. So this article is from Yahoo. It says, thanks NVIDIA. These three AI crypto tokens are up 132% or more this year. And it goes on to talk about that. And it talks about Render, which is a popular AI crypto token. These tokens, in some cases, claim to be using AI in some way uh, related to their cryptocurrency. Um, but it might be, we'll have to be careful about whether that's the case, uh, whether the claims are true. And this is another one, Fetch AI. The symbol is FET. It's up 280 208% for the year. And then we see another one, singularity.net. The symbol is AGIX. So when you take a look at the individual charts, this is for Render, one of the aforementioned cryptocurrencies. So it's down quite a bit more than the other cryptocurrencies today. Uh, one day and that's 5.92 percent so almost six percent and let's see in the last seven days sideways movement the last one month definitely an uptrend from eight to ten over the last 12 months we see a spike going from three up to ten so a threefold increase singularity net is the name of the coin and the symbol AGIX and that's around almost a dollar and it's falling around 1% today, 0.6%. In the last 12 months it's gone from around 28 cents and now up to 91 cents. It peaked above one dollar, dollar twenty roughly in March 9th. Finally, this chart from CoinGecko shows Pepe, which is at four balls 10, uh, falling 2.1%. And this cryptocurrency is rising slightly today uh, toward the end. It's, it's down for the day, of course, but uh, rising since the recent dip in the last few hours. Let's see, in the last three months, we've had a slight upward trend compared to Bitcoin, which went down from its local high and over one year can we see this amazing jump from let's see this would have been February of 2024 so only a few months ago was at six balls 92 or almost five balls one and now is at four balls ten so quite a huge jump This article from Yahoo Finance talks about how Doge versus Game Sh GameStop, what $1,000 invested two years ago is worth today. And so they go on to make their claim. Here's how much today. So they say the price of GME went from less than $20 at the start of 2021 to nearly $500 on January 28th, 2021. This marked from $20 to $500. This marked a price increase of over 2,700% in less than a month. For Doge, the price surged from less than 0.05% cents in uh, 0 0.05% that would be five cents rather in February 2021 to an all-time high of nearly 75 cents in April 2021 representing gains of 1400 percent and so when you look at the GameStop it's down 25 percent today but in the last let's say one year definitely rose 
in recent times from a local baseline of around 25. And then looking at Dogecoin in the last year, you would have seen this chart action. So definitely rising here in the last three months. Uh, but whether this is a nicer looking chart or the other looking chart was a better one, that's up to you to decide. So this page here is from Bitnodes and it shows a world map and it shows uh, some activity in the so-called Bitcoin network. It's being crawled by the Bitnodes crawler. So uh, it's up to you to decide what that means to you, but essentially to me, it means uh, investors activity is, is going on quite a bit in the United States, North America and in Europe. Uh, Europe, of course, is uh, quite uh, densely populated in a small area, but it looks like a lot of activity there. Uh, a lot going on in Asia, some in Australia, and at various times, uh, various times you see different uh, intensities of the blue circles. But pretty interesting when you see the world view from up above. This article is from Cointelegraph.com. Why is Solana price up today? So the symbol for the coin is SOL, Sol. And they say Solana prices up today, helped by Robin Hood's Sol staking service launch in Europe and signs of cooling inflation in the United States. So this was before the recent dip of the last few hours. But in early trading today, Solana was up um, a little bit more. And let's see. This is the interesting thing of this article I find is there's a Solana meme coin and it says since the start of April over 1 million new tokens have been created with over 370,000 new tokens emerging on Ethereum and over 640,000 new tokens launched on Solana according to this uh, study. And they say, let's see. So this is a new new Solana meme coin pre-sale. Solana has just raised seven hundred thousand uh, dollars, and uh, some are wondering whether this is the next crypto coin that's going to explode. And it says it's gaining traction in the Solana ecosystem, and investors are taking notice with a pre-sale. It's already raised over seven hundred thousand dollars, so it's not available everywhere it seems and it may just be the next thing to explode on the scene and it's a coin that's been turning heads pure meme coin token inspired by the leisurely lives of seals <laughs> and it pop, uh, taps into the popularity of the South Park TV show by showing a visual, visual style that plays hom homage to the uh, iconic animated comedy. And so I'll have to see what happens with Silana. So this is from CNN Business and they show some of the top stocks in today's market uh, traded in the United States. So we've spoken about some of these already. We have AMC Entertainment down 11% and GME down 26%. Uh, you have Tesla uh, up 1.4%, 1.04%, Walmart, Alibaba, etc. And then today's biggest gainer it looks like was AST Space Mobile. And so this is a market capitalization of $611 million in the United States currency. In the last year, it has definitely popped up from its low. It was looking as if it was going to decline and into unstable territory, uh, but it has popped up above the $2 mark and is now at $4 um, and change.
Now taking a look at some of the cryptocurrency related stocks in the United States stock market. So these are all priced in United States dollars. Coinbase Global has dropped quite a bit in the last day, down around 9% and it's currently at around $200. Uh, let's take a look at the last year to date and this is since January 1st. So a little bit of an S pattern, a snake pattern and it is going from around uh, $200 to back to $200 so slight upward movement let's see what this was around $150 in January 1st or so and in the last one year definitely a rise from $54 so a fourfold increase from June of 2023 we have Robinhood Markets uh, down 2.27%. And it definitely has uh, started to rise from its sideways trading in the last two years since the last cryptocurrency bull run. We have the FTX token from beleaguered uh, FTX. It was started from the FTX and that company um, had its problems but the token is still around and it's up 1.65 percent uh i should say one dollar and 65 cents today up 53 percent in the last year and the last day it's down 2.5 percent so it went from Let's see, in October of 23, $1.04 up to $1.65 and had a high of around $5.55. So that is still getting a lot of attention, even though the company is, uh, you could say, mostly gone and trying to pay back its customers, former customers. We have MicroStrategy, and that company has a share price of 1,469. It is heavily invested in cryptocurrency. It's down on the day 2.28%. And let's see if we have the market cap of $26 billion in the United States. So pretty large company. And then we have Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, BTC is symbol, $58.07, down 1.28% on the day. We have Marathon Digital, which is uh, at $19.66 a share, down around 2.6% on the day. Greenage Generation is a Bitcoin miner, and they are down 0.8% on the day, along with most of the cryptocurrency market. And in the last five years, this would have been in 2021, where they had the, the bull run high of September of 2021. It's been trading sideways, and you could make your own conclusions about the survivability of the company. But in the last year, uh, you've been seeing it trending downward, so hard to say where this will go, but someday it might uh, surprise people. It's difficult to say with uh, predicting the future. Stronghold Digital Mining Inc. is another Bitcoin miner and their symbol is SDIG traded on the NASDAQ stock exchange in the United States down around uh, 3% on today's trading. And in the last six months, we'll take a look at that chart. This is Stronghold Digital Mining. They have been declining a definite downtrend even though the stock market, the, she uh, should say the Bitcoin price has been going up quite a bit in the last while. Um, it's been harder for people to mine Bitcoin now after the halving, so you'd expect the Bitcoin miners to be under pressure and the more efficient ones to survive. Riot Platforms, $10.03 a share, down 3.37% uh, today. And take a look at that five-year chart. It's been going more sideways, so a little bit of a healthier chart here for Riot platforms. And if you look at the last one year, uh, some ups and downs. Hut 8 Corporation, another miner. HUT is a symbol traded on the NASDAQ in the United States, $8.98 a share. And they are up a dollar, uh, 1.7%. And year to date, they are going sideways in the last 
year or so sideways trading and this is their chart pattern over the last five years the last bull run was in 2021 and so they were doing quite well then we have bit mining limited traded on the New York Stock Exchange the symbol is BTCM two dollars fifty four cents a share and this is their one day chart declining four percent on the day and in the last six months um, declining hive digital technologies this is based in Canada and let's see here down 1.8 percent in the last one year they are down from a high of around six dollars to now around two dollars four cents this is bit digital which is uh, engages in the digital asset mining business and ethereum staking activities so down 2.5 percent today and they have been slightly trending upward in the last two years let's see a one-year chart so going sideways in the last year but you'll notice this slight trend in the last two years going upward and this was in 2021 January so we'll see what happens to bit digital and then we have this symbol from Wonderfy Technologies, which is located in Vancouver, Canada, and it gives access to digital assets through centralized and decentralized platform. This is priced in US dollars, so traded it in the United States on the OTC uh, markets. And let's see, in the last day, they were down 1.3%. And in the last year, slight uptrend a few more American stocks we have Canaan or Canaan uh, CAN is a symbol and NASDAQ a dollar 17 cents a share 11.43 percent increase on today so one of the healthier companies uh, traded in the United States today 11.3 percent pop and let's see in the last six months how they're doing there have been declining in the last six months is the trend but uh, recently in the last three months or so let's see well we have a local bump in the last month it looks like and so that's probably following the excitement in the cryptocurrency market we have the Valkyrie Bitcoin Trust which has symbol PTF, $18.27 a share. We have the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF, which has been, um, let's see, falling 1.3% today, $26.48 a unit. Symbol is BITO. And then let's go to Global X Blockchain ETF, the symbol is BKCH, $42.71 a share, down 1.45%. And that is for today. This is a blockchain sector fund of the so called Solactive Blockchain Index. So it holds some of the very companies that we have been profiling in the last few minutes, like Galaxy Digital, Bit Digital, Hut 8 Marathon, and Riot Platforms. And looking at their one month chart, sideways movement in the last six months, sideways in the last three years, we'll take a look. So it's been trending slightly upward in the last two years, uh, but falling since the last uh, Bitcoin bull run. Uh, Valkyrie Bitcoin Miners ETF, the symbol is WGMI. And that stock today is at um, $15.55 a share. We're now at uh, around 11 minutes to today's close. And that is, let's see, the three year chart. We're trending downward slightly. 
uh, but definitely going up if you purchased uh, within the last two years, more or so, more or less, you would have uh, had an increase of around uh, five to fifteen, so roughly threefold. The Valkyrie Bitcoin Fund. So this is different from the last one. This was the Valkyrie Bitcoin Miners ETF, and now we're talking about the Bitcoin Fund. So that's tracking very closely Bitcoin itself, and so it's down around 1%, or roughly the same as Bitcoin itself today. And the last six months, it's been tracking more or less, uh, as you would expect, the price movement of Bitcoin. This is another Bitcoin ETF from Franklin, EZBC. If you're in the United States, it's going down 1.2%. $37.86 per unit and in the last year because it's so new probably um, let's see starting in around February 11th so it's gone up and tracked Bitcoin as you would expect and that has a market cap of 309 million dollars US so here's a meme uh, it says hey what's your trading strategy and this is me, she says. Escucha las palabras de las brujas, los secretos escondidos en la noche, los antiguos dioses invocados. So if you're looking for cryptocurrency related merchandise, this is a site that's called CryptoWardrobe.com. So just uh, full disclosure, we're not affiliated with them in any way. And so I don't know if um, it's a reliable website or not, but if it is, uh, this is what they sell. And they sell a whole bunch of cryptocurrency by coin. So you just scroll down and you can pick the cryptocurrency that you like, your favorite one or favorite ones. And you can, for example, buy a Bitcoin t-shirt or something like that. Add it to your cart. This is how it looks. Uh, different, different ones. You can switch the sides, take a look at the different products. So most prices range from... Uh, Looks like around $23. Could probably go up to around $75 for the biggest things. They've got hoodies and mugs and all sorts of things. Uh, but notice that they accept credit cards and PayPal. But ironically, they don't yet accept cryptocurrency for payment uh, when you go to your cart to check out. But if this is something that interests you, it's called Crypto Wardrobe, all one word, dot com. Uh, again, can't vouch for its authenticity but um, there it is that's the information uh, let's see we have now recapping the Bitcoin prices we're at around five minutes from the close of the stock exchanges in the United States and uh, but the Bitcoin market will be trading of course uh, after that the cryptocurrency trades um, all night long 24 hours a day and it's going now 1.12 percent is the dip for bitcoin so it's starting to send just a little bit more although slightly up from that recent dip uh, around an hour ago and let's see you're going to expect the same thing for ethereum down a little bit more at uh, two thousand nine hundred and forty nine dollars and down around two percent we have cardano up 1.6 percent bucking the trend solana same thing going up 3.4 percent 3.14 percent here we have dogecoin falling 2.4 percent uh, on the day and it's at around 15 cents just below 15 cents so it's not going up with uh, the same thing the same way as bitcoin is going up in the last hour or so um, same thing with Shibu in Shiba Inu. It's starting to decline. The symbol is S H I B, and that's at around 24 uh, fractions of a cent. So it's four balls, 24, uh, dropping around one percent on the, or going up around one percent on the day because it started down here. However, uh, it's it's dropped from its recent rise where we went up to around 25.7. So now we're going to Canada for some stocks related to cryptocurrency. The symbol is QETH. This fund tracks the price of Ether. 
and it has fallen 0.27% um, on the day. And the stock market has just closed, and so that price is finalized for the day. Its price is now $60.16 a share, dropping 0.27% on the day. And let's see, and since 2024, it rose from 50 up to a high of around 80 in the recent, uh, you could say, micro run, micro bull run, and now it's back down to 60. So 50 to 80, down to 60. And the Bitcoin fund is similar. It tracks Bitcoin itself. This is an exchange traded fund in Canada, priced in Canadian dollars, 85 Canadian dollars, down around 1% today. And so this is its price action in the last uh, three months, last two months. So March, April, and May. And we can see a slight downtrend, uh, but it's possible that you'll see an escape here from the current sideways trading uh, due to the recent Bitcoin having the excitement over that and uh, scarcity. So we'll see if the price bumps up as it has in previous bull runs after Bitcoin having. Wonderfy Technologies uh, Inc. and the symbol is WNDR. The price is 24 cents a share in Canadian currency up 9.1% with such a small valuation, uh, even two cents a share increase uh, gives you a big percentage increase. So a 2% or two cent increase from 22 cents previous close. And let's see, this is a Canadian version of the stock. And so we have a market capitalization of 145 Canadian, 145 million Canadian dollars. This is the beta pro inverse Bitcoin ETF. Just for that, we say Dow closes lower Thursday after briefly topping 40,000 for the first time. So that was in the United States. The Dow uh, Jones Industrial Average, I think they're referring to, is uh, closing lower. And uh, definitely in the last month, we've been having a whole bunch of uh, highs, record highs. And so going back to Canada, this is the Beta Pro Inverse Bitcoin ETF. So this is inverse is the key word, and it goes in the opposite direction of whatever Bitcoin is doing. And the symbol is BITI. It's priced in Canadian dollars. It's currently at $4.87 per share on today's trading, which is now closed. It's up 1.46%. And this is the trend line in the last uh, six months or so, we could say maybe, June through May, so approximately last year. And so it's gone from $13.54 to $4.87. So uh, as expected, it's going in the opposite direction of Bitcoin, but it's surprising that it didn't, let's say, drop more here due to the Bitcoin uh, price increase and so as Bitcoin starting to fall a little bit you see this starting to track upward a little bit Anyway uh, a risky stock, but for some people they can make money from it So that is called the beta pro inverse Bitcoin ETF uh, for more sophisticated investors and let's see we're going now to the Argo blockchain PLC and this is from United Kingdom. So this is priced in uh, British pounds. And this stock uh, has been hammered. And let's say, let's try to take a look at their overall record over time since inception. So this was the January 2021 was the bull run for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. And so it declined quite a bit. And in the last year, we'll say last two years, we'll see if we can take a look at that seeing a downtrend in the last year. A slight bump up here in January, surprisingly. Uh, but despite the March increase in Bitcoin price, the stock has been stabilizing and, and falling slightly. So that's in the United Kingdom. And then we have here Quantum Blockchain Technologies. This is priced in uh, British pounds, it looks like. And this is uh, rising 5.13%. Their stock market has been closed for several hours now, as of today. And then last day going upward, according to the data, but the chart looks like it's uh, a different situation. In any case, uh, let's see, at the one pound trend line, it's been hovering just above that, slight peaks. 
uh, but starting to drop down over time. And now we're going to a stock in Australia. This is the BetaShares Crypto Innovators ETF. And it's at $4.71 in Australian currency. The symbol is CRYP. So over the day, it's up 6.32% from compared to previous day's close. Let's look at five day chart. We would have this so it popped up for some reason 6.32 percent very suddenly so this is a, a choppy stock when it goes from day to day so that's interesting and let's see if they have a market capitalization shares outstanding 28.5 and so that's a, an australian company uh, looking at the overall chart uh, this has been around since 2022, so just after the tail of the Bitcoin bull run, and it's been rising slightly. So that ends this look at the cryptocurrency for today, May the 16th, 2024. Uh, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.